Let's walk with Mike Score and a flock of seagulls. All right, how you all doing? Hey! Yay. Back in 1981 or 82, I was DJing at the club in City Gardens and booking bands there as well. And I uh, fell in love with a song by uh, a band called A Flock of Seagulls. The song was called Tell the Communication. And I kind of was like the first person in the country to really hop on it because uh, as DJs, we used to report our top 10 songs to a company in New York City. And I kept reporting his flock of seagulls telecommunications. And this is before I ran, but um, really, really enjoyed uh, what I was hearing. And plus the fact they were produced by Bill Nelson, who I'm a big fan of. Bill Nelson definitely has a big part in the success of a flock of seagulls in the, you know, the very first year or two. The first time they played at City Gardens, again, it was like their, maybe their first day, for God's sakes, ever in America from Liverpool. But I remember taking the guitar player uh, in my car to WTSR to do an interview with, I believe it was uh, Karen Ray Heller was the DJ. And uh, so we interviewed him. And he, he'd never been interviewed before. So um, they were going to tour America. Uh, a Flock of Seagulls is from Liverpool, which is pretty nice. And they were going to tour with Squeeze. And actually the first show with Squeeze was at uh, the College of New Jersey, which is, you know, we know it as Trenton State College, as old people. But uh, the, the day before, I mean, I just pestered the agent, and he's still their agent. His name's Rick Shore. I'll probably see him next week at the show. Uh, I've been dealing with Rick for 40 years. Uh, he worked for the, the Copelands, Ian Copeland, Stuart Copeland, Miles Copeland. Uh, he gave me so many bands. Uh, from the Buzzcocks to Gang of Four. Um, boy, just uh, so many cramps. I, I can't think of them off. To Joan Jett, uh, Wall of Voodoo. So, uh, oh, we just did, Rick stayed in touch. And when the internet came along, I got, I, I found Mike, Mike Score. Uh, I just kept writing to Mike Score and saying, you gotta play a show, you gotta play a show. And, uh, we're down to a record store now, as opposed to, you know, a theater, which we can use in town. We're down to the record store. It's like 35 people tops. And uh, he agreed to play two shows. So, you know, when Mike comes in uh, Wednesday, it'll be the first time I've seen him or talked to him since 1981 or 82. And it's got to be the smallest room they've played in, or he's played in decades. And uh, he's bringing a gentleman with him to play guitar with him. I'm really excited for it. I was a big fan. Hey, this is Mike Scove from A Flock of Seagulls. We're at uh, Randy's Man Cave. And Randy was the first person to book us a show in America. So we decided to come back and play his new place here and have a little party, and it's been great. Thanks, Randy. We, we met at uh, City Gardens at the Flock of Seagulls concert in July of 1982, and uh, we danced to a couple songs together, and then she ran off, and I didn't see her again until uh, uh, another concert where uh, our we saw our daughter's wedding, and then we still didn't get together, and then we saw her at Billy Idol concert, and then we met up after that and started dating, and uh, 11 months after that, we were married, and our 38th anniversary is this 
Friday. Hi there. I remember. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. We saw you. We were the. I don't know if you heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in. So thank you. Between Randy and you, you're responsible for us. And our, 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 our said to thank you for being part of his existence. Oh, we had run into you, each other. That would our, our history would be different. So. And we had a good time at that. Yeah. And this brought us right back to that. Yeah. I know. Just close my eyes. I'm glad you're still making music. Yeah, you're doing. That's beautiful. I didn't choose to be a musician, to tell you the truth. I I liked band stuff, and I knew a few people in bands, and I started doing it. And when it when we got a record deal, I thought, ah, oh, cool, maybe two or three years doing this. But now it's been 40 years, and I enjoy it just as much as I ever did. So. Thank God music chose me for my own sake. And uh, like I say, I still enjoy it. Love writing songs, love meeting people, love doing shows, big and small. And I uh, hope it continues. J-O-A-N-N-E.